most of us will never come within shouting distance of, which is why we tend to regard them with a strange kind of jealous fascination. We'd all like to know, even if just for a day, what it's like to spend money like water, fly on tricked up private jets, wake up in a multi-million dollar home and hang out with celebrities and supermodels. But if you're a foodie, we're about to give you several more reasons to be jealous, 10 of them to be exact. Assembled from all around the globe, these culinary delights are off limits to all except those with ridiculous amounts of money to spend. They're the 10 most expensive food items in the entire world. And unless you're among the super rich yourself, they'll empty your wallet just as quickly as they'll fill your stomach. We start things off with one incredible pizza, one you'll never find on the menu at Domino's. In 2006, world-renowned chef Dominico Crolla of Glasgow, Scotland created a pie intended for a St. Valentine's Day meal which he dubbed the Pizza Royale 007. It's unclear why he chose the James Bond reference. Perhaps he needed the super spy to hunt down all of his ultimate pizza's ingredients. Among the pie's more extravagant toppings were caviar soaked in fine champagne, choice cuts of smoked salmon and lobster marinated in the finest cognac available. Then for good measure, he topped off the assembled pizza with a healthy amount of 24 karat gold shavings. Fortunately, all of this decadence was for a good cause. The pie was created to raise funds for the Fred Hollows Foundation, a nonprofit with the goal of eradicating preventable blindness in developing countries. At auction on eBay, the pizza brought home a winning bid of $4,200 matching the record for world's most expensive pizza from a slightly less extravagant white truffle pie created by London's Maze Restaurant, which is owned by none other than famed chef Gordon Ramsay. This oddly named confection was once considered the world's most expensive dessert, and it can only be found in one place, at the Fortress Resort and Spa in Sri Lanka. At its base, it's simply a cassata, a traditional Italian sponge cake, but this cake has been tricked out with enough expensive fillings and decorations to make it worth slightly less than your average new car. The cake itself is flavored with a fruit-infused Irish cream, and filled with a mango and pomegranate compote, with a Dom Perignon Champagne Sabayon. Adorning the dessert will be hand-carved chocolate sculptures of the stilt fishermen, which can be seen throughout the area, along with delicate edible leaves of gold. And to top it all off, the dish is decorated with an 80-carat aquamarine stone. This incredibly flavored, sublimely constructed dessert is truly one of a kind, but if you want to indulge, bring your platinum card. The amazing seaside resort may boast sweets starting from only a couple hundred dollars, but the stilt fisherman indulgence will tack a hefty $14,500 onto your bill. The Fence Gate Inn in Lancashire, UK is home to the world's priciest beef and mushroom pie. It's a traditional dish enjoyed by Brits of all stripes, but this version, as you might have suspected, uses slightly fancier ingredients than tradition demands. To start with, the pie is stuffed with about $1,000 worth of Wagyu beef, which is only obtained from one of four breeds of cattle native to Japan. The chef then adds exquisite Matsutake mushrooms, which go for about $1,000 per pound. Black truffles and the requisite gold leaf are then added before marinating the entire mixture in two bottles of 1980 to Chateau Moton Rothschild red wine, which itself rings up at about $4,200 per bottle. It's then baked inside an expertly prepared crust. The pie is served with champagne and can feed eight people, which is a good thing, because this is one bill you're going to want to split. The entire pie costs $15,900, or just a little under $2,000 per slice, but the chef claims that it's totally worth it to experience the best beef and mushroom pie you'll ever taste in your life. Melons are something of a delicacy in Japan since they're difficult to grow there, which can make them pretty pricey. The Dansuke, a rare black watermelon grown only on the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido, is the world's most expensive watermelon, but it was put to shame in 2008 by a pair of cantaloupes which sold for over three times that amount at auction. The melons grown in the Yubari region of Hokkaido were judged along with over a hundred others as part of a competition before the auction and took home the top prize. They were purchased by a local restaurant owner and businessman for the princely sum of $23,000. For a time, they were the most expensive melons ever sold. But in 2018, the president of a Japanese fruit and vegetable packaging company commemorated his firm's 30th anniversary by purchasing two prize Yubaris for the equivalent of $29,251 US dollars. The melons were kept on display for a couple of months before being cut into pieces which were given away for free to customers, just so a few lucky common people could experience the reportedly otherworldly taste of the king of melons. The 
The Serendipity 3 restaurant is a New York landmark, having been featured in several Hollywood feature films, including one even titled Serendipity, and famous for their frozen hot chocolate. Which sounds a little counterintuitive, but is apparently so good that Jackie Kennedy once tried to steal the recipe. Serendipity 3 produced a sundae called the Golden Opulence, which was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most expensive dessert in 2004. But it only cost a mere thousand dollars. The restaurant's owners soon decided it was time to outdo themselves. And did they ever. The frozen halte chocolate a decidedly higher-end version of their famous dessert is made from a combination of 28 expensive chocolates from Africa and South America. It's topped with 23 karat gold shavings and a truffle imported from France, and the drink is served in a gold-lined crystal goblet adorned with an 18 karat white gold bracelet. Even the spoon it's served with is made of solid gold. And yes, you get to keep all the adornments, which is a good thing, because the frozen hate chocolate will set you back a whopping $25,000. Granvejos Los Cabos is a five-star resort in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, an area where you could probably pick up a fantastic taco on any street corner. But if you're looking for a truly singular taco experience and have money to burn, you'll want to stop by Granvejos Frida Restaurant to check out the culinary masterpiece created by executive chef Juan Ligerio Acala. The world's most expensive taco begins with Kobe beef and langoustine, a type of prawn indigenous to Norway. Almas beluga caviar and black truffle brie cheese are added to the mix, along with a salsa made with exotic morita chili peppers. The taco is served in a gold flake infused corn tortilla, and you can see what true luxury tastes like for the low price of only $25,000. As long as you've got that kind of money laying around, you might as well order drinks too. A handcrafted white gold and platinum bottle of Ley 925 Pasión Azteca Ultra Premium Añejo Tequila can be served on the side for only an additional $150,000. Speaking of almas caviar, if you end up enjoying it on your incredibly pricey taco, you may want to hunt some down for yourself. It won't be easy. It's made from the pure white eggs of an endangered fish, the albino beluga sturgeon, which is only found in the Caspian Sea. Also, the fish that the eggs are harvested from must be at least 100 years old. As you might expect, this makes almas caviar one of the rarest foods in the entire world. Even your average run-of-the-mill caviar is practically synonymous with a luxury lifestyle. But almas caviar is so scarce that even those who have the means to sample it might find it hard to come by. The white gold holds a place in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most expensive caviar of all time. Around $32,000 for just a kilogram of the stuff. Of course, Chef Alcala over at the Grand Velas Resort seems to have a pretty good source. So if you have $32,000 lying around and just have to know what the fuss is all about, maybe he'll hook you up. The Lindith Howe Country House is a four-star hotel in Windermere, Cumbria, UK. Its head chef, Mark Guibert, knows that his countrymen and women love a good pudding, and apparently reasoned that the very, very rich ones would need a very, very expensive pudding to satisfy their tastes. With this in mind, he created the fanciest pudding on the planet, made from four varieties of Belgian chocolate which are considered the best anywhere. Infused through this special blend are essences of peach, orange, and whiskey, along with edible gold leaf and champagne-soaked caviar. The concoction is served in an edible Fabergé egg, and then just to up the fancy quotient as much as humanly possible, it's topped with an actual diamond. Just keep in mind that if you're planning a visit to Lindith Howe and want to sample the world's most expensive pudding for yourself, you'll have to order it at least two weeks in advance. The White Alba Truffle, found only in the Longhe and Montferrat areas of northern Italy, is one of the priciest foods on earth. They're extremely hard to cultivate and highly sought after. But from October to November each year, you can visit the region's truffle fair, which attracts buyers from all four corners of the globe. Even regular truffles can fetch up to $300 per pound. But the White Alba, recognizable by its cream-colored flesh and distinctive marbling, is only for those with insane amounts of money to burn. They generally go from $3,000 to about $23,000 per pound, and some larger specimens have sold at auction for truly dizzying sums of money. A Hong Kong real estate investor shelled out $160,000 for a truffle weighing about 3.3 pounds, and in 2010, a pair of them sold for a whopping $330,000.
The world's most expensive food is actually a beverage, and there's only so much of it that exists in the world. It's a 1907 Heidsieck, far from the world's oldest champagne, but it certainly has a more interesting story than any vino any of us have ever tasted. In 1916, the Swedish freighter Junkelping, which counted several cases of the wine in question among its cargo, was sunk by a German U-boat, and it remained at the bottom of the ocean for 80 years. Fortunately, these conditions were ideal for champagne storage. The pressure on the ocean floor was roughly the same as the inside of the bottle, and of course the precious cargo was shielded from life. The ship was raised in 1997, and about 2,000 bottles were recovered, although not all of those were in saleable condition. You can buy the current vintage of the same champagne online for around $120 per bottle, but if you want to try the shipwrecked version, which sources say is absolutely mind-blowing, bottles are currently going at auction for an incredible $275,000.